Richard Topol, what a treat that I get to hang out with you today. It's a pleasure for me too. We have a lot to talk about. Yeah. So let's talk about your new play. Okay. Our class. I don't even know how we sum this up, so I'm, I'm gonna let you You can let try. me do it? Okay, yeah. so Our Class by Tadej Slobodzianek, who's a Polish man, it was translated into English, is a play about 10 classmates. Five of them are Catholic, five of them are Jewish, in a little village in Poland. And it starts when they're kids in elementary school in around 1930 and travels with them through their experiences in life and the world until about 2000. Yeah, and this is based on a true story. It's based, on, it's based on a true story about events that happened in this village, some of which were horrific. You know, it's a cautionary tale, yeah, uh, yeah. but it's told in a really fun, sort of playful way because it's about kids. It's also a bit personal for you. Yes. My family was from this area and the play takes place around here. So all within this same pale of settlement, which at the time more Jews lived than anywhere else in the entire world. Coming to a place like this, you find images that are evocative, you find objects that you can use, you know, so that when you have a, a prop in the play, it becomes that much it. more... It's real. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's more vivid for you. And we walked by this exhibit and this caught your eye. Yeah, this kid, I mean, the play is about these kids. Even as she's like wearing a Jewish star, you know, she's still just a kid. And so part of what happens in the play is that these kids turn into people who do things that you can't imagine that they would do. It's really helpful yeah. to come to a place like this to remember. I mean, the, the whole museum exists to remember. And we're supposed to remember so that we don't let things like this happen again. You know, as a Jew, I was raised understanding that and understanding that I have a responsibility to make sure that I play my part in making sure things like this never happen again, whether it's to Jews or other people who are oppressed or treated horribly. Okay. I feel like I'm like no. feeling your character well, right yes, now. Well, because in the play, uh, my character comes to America. And he, you know, he talks about seeing across the waves the Statue, Statue of, Liberty. of Liberty. I got one last Wait, question for yes. you while we're here. Yes. Are you hungry? I am hungry. Can we go Let's eat some lunch? Let's do it. We are here at Veselka restaurant because Veselka is this great Ukrainian restaurant and it's it's fabulous. It's so good. These are some of my favorites. This is borscht. I love coming here for the matzo ball soup. The latkes, of course, and then, uh, you know. Every and kind then, of pierogi that we can yeah, every, imagine. Every kind of pierogi. This has been the biggest treat. Just tell everybody why they need to come see you in our class. The, should I tell you? You, no. you need to come see me and everybody else in this production of our class at Brooklyn Academy of Music because it's a beautiful, powerful story and thrilling piece of theater about some really interesting and enlightening things that have happened.